Hello, good morning guys. Uh, this is Taiba Hasakicks.com and today we're going to talk about the Nike SP Dunk Low Street Hawker aka Chinese New Year. Now the shoe was supposed to drop on the uh, 13th of January but I think Nike changed it and it's going to be on the 22nd. I'm not too sure but it's between the, the 15th and the 22nd of January. So just be on the lookout for that. Now the shoes were, the colors were inspired by the beloved uh, Chinese cuisine and Chinese cuisine, you already know, is celebrated like everywhere in the world. I love Chinese food, so if you look at the shoe, it basically uh, features most of the food dishes that we like in Chinese cuisine. So you can kind of see that one show the video of the food you can kind of see like, some of the pleasant things that were represented in the shoe. But this morning, what, what I want to talk about is um, the number of fairs made, what is represented in the shoe, and also we're going to talk about research now. The retail price of the shoe. So I'm not gonna waste too much time. Once you see the video, I'm gonna show you um, what I came up with when I did my numbers. So let's jump into that, all right? Let's jump into that now. So our very first step is always trying to figure out who's getting the shoe. So your major chains are Nike sneakers, US and Nike sneakers, Europe. And then now you have like your minor boutiques. So when I did my uh, research, I came up with like a bunch of them. You have Evolve, Atlas, Continuum, New York City, Dropout, Blue Tile, Seoul, Leak, Spotica, Charlie, Mortar, Storm Tokyo, Alu, Instant, and you also have Extra Butter and Renault. Now the thing is this, like some of these places are, are pretty much they are operating on the um, raffle basis where you have to fill out all these forms. So be sure to, I will include the link in the description where you can actually go on my website and click uh the links and it's going to take you right onto those uh, websites where you can actually apply and see if you're going to be able to get the shoe now these are pretty much the only ones that are confirmed so now i'm going to set up my assumption and for the assumption it's going to be pretty straightforward i'm going to give nike about 70 percent of the total production and then the boutique mentions i'm going to give them like 30 percent of the inventory and then each boutique i'm going to give about 100 pairs Per boutique because this is tough. I don't know. I don't have information on their numbers, so I'm just gonna be safe and I'm gonna say a hundred pairs per boutique. So let's stick to that for now. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna find our numbers. So to find the numbers, I did a hundred times twenty-two, which is what I you know what, what I came up with was twenty-two hundred pairs. And to be safe, I'm gonna stretch this number to twenty twenty-five hundred because I may not be accurate with my numbers. And so since we say that this number represented like 30% of the entire production, to find the entire production, we're just going to do simple um, computation, 2,500 plus 2,500 plus 2,500 plus 33, uh, 334. Basically, you just take the numbers and divide everything by 30%, 30%, 30%. And the last one will be uh, um, pretty, pretty much this is 60, uh, 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 30 is 90, and then 90 plus uh 10 percent will be the last so i'm just gonna do that and i came up with 8,332 uh, 8,334 8, pairs so i can conclude that my projected number will be anywhere between 8,000 and 50,000 pairs because i'm gonna stretch that okay to be safe now again i need to add my disclaimer i don't work for the brands i don't work for the boutiques i don't work for anybody everything everything is based on my own personal assumptions so take Everything that I say with a grain of salt, I'm just trying to help you guys out. So this is the only thing that I do here. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is resale. And to do resale, I'm just going to go back to my website real quick. And I'm going to give you a couple of curves and a couple of graphs that I came up with. Let's do that. So the first thing we want to talk about is resale versus time. And as you can see, the shoe went from like, it was like $1,200 on the 29th. And then the most striking day was on the 31st of December, which is on a Thursday, it was 2300. That's most likely an outlier. And then for the for the most part, the shoe is like between a $900 and a $1,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my presentation and I'm gonna read my chart to give you a better and accurate uh, description of this data that I'm just showing you on this curve here. So let's do that. You see that overall, the shoe is reselling between $900 and $1,200. And I, I talked about a $2,300 uh, outlier. So what I did was I removed it and I recalculated the, the, the average again. And when I did it, I came up with 1,077. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that by the time the shoe releases, 
the value might decrease by like 5% or 15%. That's because now if the shoes are available in a little bit more numbers, resale is going to be affected just a little bit. So I would say that resale will be between anywhere between $900 and $1,000. This is a good shoe for those that are trying to like capitalize on it. So now let's talk about resale versus size. Now this is a breakdown of the resale versus size. You can kind of see that the size 12 again was the outlier that I talked about. So I don't expect uh, a size 12 to sell for that much again. I think somebody just pulled the trigger real quick and pretty much paid a little bit too much for this shoe. So pretty much this is a breakdown of the sizes. You can always go back on my website and look at it. Six and a half is 11.54. Everything else is between $900 and $1,000. And I'm gonna go back to my chart again and my uh, presentation again and I can kind of read you what I wrote down. So we're talking resale versus size. So again, I talked about the $2,300 outlier. So, uh, and the sample is too small. So it's kind of hard sometimes to make some strong inferences. But based on what I've seen, I would say that the profit margin will sit anywhere between $700 and $800. So your markup is like 598% between 780%. This is crazy. Now you know what that means. That means the shoe is gonna be doing extremely great. Now, if you wanna buy the shoe, I can actually, um, I have uh, um, the, uh, some links for you on my website where you can actually go and get it. So I'm gonna present that for you in just a sec. So if you wanna buy it, there's a links, a bunch of these links for you here. Just go on the website. I'll have a link for you in the description. But if you don't wanna wait, if you wanna go through all these like hassle, and if you wanna buy it straight up, I have a link for you here where you can get it from StockX or eBay or whatever. So check the link in the description. I'll have that for you. But I also wanna warn you because um, fakes are already out and you do well to look at it because the fakes are, are gonna be out this is a shoe that they're gonna want to cap on so you already see this is the fake one i don't know how to tell just yet but i'm just gonna show it to you and i'm gonna warn you because i'm gonna say in a probably like let's say like two weeks from today i'm gonna do have a side-by-side -side comparison between the authentic and the fake one so you definitely want to check that out so be on the lookout for that but these are the fake ones and they're gonna look good now i also wrote an article yesterday which are in which i was talking about a new breed of um nike and jordan um replicas the air kai the fugazis and the, i never heard of you this is a good article that i wrote and i really would encourage you to, to check it out because this article talks about what you can do to to basically you can create your own brands basically be, be, this is why these guys are doing over here like they created their own brand they have their own logos and then they are pretty much uh, using the Jordan 1 silhouette as their backdrop and then they're creating like some pretty nice sneakers and this is incredible like when I saw it and I saw how much these, these things are actually selling for I was pretty much uh, surprised okay so I will encourage you to to, to read this article without we'll going into details about it and I will encourage you to read that again thanks for watching this is Ty from Master Kicks and stay tuned for more stuff